Hello, good evening everybody. Dr. Todd Williams joining you live tonight for Face, for Wisdom Talk, I'm sorry, live here on Facebook. Dr. Todd Williams joining you here in place of Dr. Paul Kreitz tonight. Got the sun behind me, the water, the sun setting here in South Carolina. Beautiful spot I'm at here, Springs Park, I believe that's what it's called. I've been out riding motorcycles with several from our household of faith today. And we get somewhere here where I can sit down and do a study with you tonight from Second Peter. So let me get to where I can have a seat. So grab your Bible tonight and we're going to do a short study here on Second Peter. Good evening, April. Glad you're here with me. Anybody who's joining me, let me know where you're watching from. Say hello. If you're watching from outside the United States, look at this beautiful view behind me of the water. Great place. Several, uh, we've just been, been all over the place. We went Blythewood, Winsboro, Chester. I don't even know where all we've been. But grab your Bible real quick. Get you something to take some notes on. And I'm going to be talking to you about patience tonight. Add to your faith. Patience. Add to your faith. Patience. You can still see there's the water and the sunset back there behind me. I think we're going to wind up having... We're going to have our household of faith meet down here during the month of August. I think it would be great. So I'm glad you could join me. Good evening, Joy. Glad you're here. Hello. Looks like Salem. Mike Cochran. Nancy Lee Gracie. Glad you are here with me. All right. If you got your Bible, let's go to 2 Peter tonight. 2 Peter. We're going to be reading where we've been at in this study. This is session number six. And I've been talking to you about adding to your faith. So I'm gonna read this real quick and we're gonna jump on into it. It says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ. To them that have obtained like precious faith through the righteousness of God and our savior, Jesus Christ. It says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. He says that by these you become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world. And the Apostle Peter goes on and he says, that besides this, giving all diligence to add to your faith virtue. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago, being excellence or moral excellence. We add to our faith excellence or the spirit of excellence. And he says, and to add to virtue Knowledge. I talked about that this being revelation knowledge. Adding to your faith excellence, adding to that excellence revelation knowledge. Going on from here, he says, and to that knowledge to add temperance or self-control. Self-control, that's what I talked with you about this past Monday night. Going on from here, there were seven things I said the Apostle Peter pointed out here that he said if these things were in you and they abound that you will ne never be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Jesus he says to self control to add to your self control patience that's what I want to talk to you about for just a moment tonight patience what is patience one thing I know that I've come to understand about patience is that patience 
is not just waiting. Sometimes we think, you know, I, I just need to wait here. Well, that may be the case, but I believe that patience is something bigger than that. It's not waiting on time, and it's definitely not a waste of time. But patience is this. It is wisdom for the precise moment. Let me say that again to you. Patience is wisdom for the precise moment. So I believe patience will, it will make you appear to be wise, even if you're not. Now, there's an ambulance coming in. Somebody must be hurt. Patience is definitely a fruit of God's spirit. We know that the Bible says uh, the fruit of his spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, faith, and self-control. I believe that patience, the Apostle Peter is telling us that we have to, to work here to add to our faith. We have to add things to our faith. Having faith alone is great. Faith alone can bring you into a position of justification with God. Now, two things I've pointed out that the Apostle Peter talks about here in 2 Peter as we've been going through this book is he talked about divine power and the divine nature of God. Again, the divine power and the divine nature of God. Now, he says the divine power of God gives us all things. Through the, it gives us all things that pertain to life and godliness. But he says that the exceeding great and precious promises of God, they bring us into a place of the divine nature of God. He says we become a partaker of the divine nature. Besides God's divine power, besides God's divine nature, he says that we are to add to our faith and giving diligence to add to our faith. Patience. Patience can at times seem trying. Even the Apostle James says the trying of our faith works patience. He said, but let patience have her perfect work that you may be entire perfect and entire lacking nothing I found this when you readily embrace patience the trial of your faith will end patience and perseverance are an interchangeable word in a New Testament sometimes we have to patiently endure or to persevere through a situation. I'm glad you're joining me tonight. I'm uh, live here from Springs Park in Lancaster. You may see some flashing lights just because there's an ambulance over here attending to somebody at the park. I don't know what's happened. Uh, but I'm down there by the water. Sunset, sun is setting. I got Philip with me over here. There's Philip and Asa and there's Joe joining me tonight we've been out riding this evening and i'm stopping to do wisdom talk with you so let's go on and talk about this a little bit more patience has to become an adjustment to our attitude concerning life i know many times we may be in a hurry or we may say you know i ain't got time for this i ain't got time to to wait on this god one of the requirements of faith is to operate in patience. Again, patience being wisdom for the precise moment. I believe there's a precise moment for everything. Ecclesiastes 3 tells us there's a time and a season to every purpose under the sun. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to laugh, a time to cry. There's a precise moment for everything. Someone this week, you're going to be faced with the opportunity 
Now, some opportunities will come, but they're not the precise moment. Others, that it's going to be the right moment. There's nothing better than having right words with the right moment, with the right people. Many times you have to remain patient for the right thing at the right time. There's nothing better than being in the right place at the right time. I believe that there are divine moments or opportunities that come to our life and we may miss those opportunities if we are not patient, if we're in the hurry up mode. You know, patience always arrives in a destination of purpose. Let me say that again to you. Patience always arrives at the destination of purpose. I believe that patience is the is, is one of the, the highest forms of loyalty. It's one of the highest forms of love. You have to be patient with other people. And sometimes people are not where they should be or where they need to be. And we have to exercise patience in relationships. Patience is the true test of confidence. i said say that again to you. Patience is the true test of confidence. You may have faith. But the Bible says you have need of patience that after you have endured. There's a, a great need of patience in our day. I live in a world that's in a, it's a hurry up world. Get it done now. When do you want it? Yesterday. The patience is the true test of our confidence. When things are not seeming to go our way or they, things don't look like we want them to, we have to be patient. We have to wait on the timing of God because there's a precise moment. Sometimes you may think, I'm just, God, what am I doing just sitting here waiting on you? I feel like I'm just wasting time. No, remember this, patience. This is my, my word to everyone tonight. Patience is wisdom for the precise moment. I believe patience is it's misunderstood more often than not. I don't want you this week to run ahead of patience. Because if you run ahead and miss the opportunity that patience will bring, that means that you are willing to settle for less than God's best in your life. So I'm not willing to settle for anything less than God's best in life. And patience many times will tell me, Wait for the precise moment. You're not wasting your time here. Wait for the precise moment. Patience is always right on time. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts tonight. Patience is always on the right time. Patience will cause you to recognize the right moment. Now you may be sitting and listening to me tonight and think, well, if I'm patient and I wait, maybe, maybe I'm gonna miss the opportunity. No, patience will bring you to the right moment. It will bring you to the right moment to make a right decision at the right time. As the apostle Peter said, Add to your faith excellence, and to excellence knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control patience. I appreciate you joining me tonight for Wisdom Talk. I'll be back on tomorrow night, 8 p.m., and I'm going to still be in Second Peter with you. I hope you've been enjoying this study. I've been doing an exhaustive study on Second Peter. And tomorrow night, we're going to be going into from patience to godliness.
He says to add to your patience, godliness. Appreciate you joining me tonight. I'm gonna get off here. We're gonna probably get back on the highway and enjoy the rest of this evening on our, on our motorcycle. And uh, I hope you have had a lovely Sunday. I'll see you back 8 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow night, Monday night. I'll be talking to you from 2 Peter again. Again, just want to encourage everyone to sow into Purpose International. It's the ministry of my spiritual father, Dr. Paul Kreitz. You can go to paulkreitz.com. You can click on Sow a Seed. It takes you to a PayPal uh, link. You can sow that way, or you can use Cash App, and his Cash App is dollar sign Dr. Paul Kreitz. Thank you for joining me tonight. I'm Dr. Todd Williams. Love you all. I'll see you again tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Have a great night. Thank you, Nancy Lee, for putting that in. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.